Hello, my name is Simon, and welcome to the Retro News Roundup. The big retro gaming news from last month was that the SNES Classic Edition finally launched and was sold out nearly everywhere immediately. The system includes 20 built-in games from Nintendo's classic 16-bit console, and also the unreleased Star Fox 2. Did you manage to get your hands on one? In mildly related news, an officially licensed Mini Commodore 64 console was announced last month as well. It suitably includes 64 games, and will cost you £69.99. It's coming out sometime next year, and includes titles such as School Days, Impossible Mission, and Monty on the Run. Not to be completely outgunned, the Commodore 64's 8-bit home computing rival, the ZX Spectrum, is to hold a party at the end of this month to celebrate its 35th anniversary. By party, I of course mean a day event at the UK Centre for Computing History in Cambridge. Speakers and guests attending include the Oliver Twins, Kevin Toms, and Rick Dickinson. More details on this event can be found by following the relevant link in this video's description. Finally, a secret emulated version of the NES's Golf, complete with motion control support, was discovered in the Nintendo Switch last month. It's been suggested that it's a tribute to Satoru Iwata, and a link to a video explaining how you can find this easter egg in your Switch can be found below. On the subject of the Nintendo Switch, its eShop got a few arcade archive titles last month, namely Neo Geo games Spin Master, Art of Fighting, and Burning Fight, but also ninty arcade title Mario Bros. The 3DS in comparison got a lovely remake of Game Boy title Metroid 2, called Metroid Samus Returns, as well as ports of the Game Boy Colors Pokemon Gold and Silver. Even the Wii U got some retro love last month, with ports of PC Engine games Detana Twin B, China Warrior, Shockman, and Chu Man Fu, all arriving on the console's eShop. Sony systems didn't get anywhere near as much love, with just the PlayStation 4 getting arcade archive titles Puzzled, Zed Blade, Haunted Castle, and Spin Master. Then to round off last month's old, new releases, River City Melee, Battle Royal Special arrived on Steam, and Crazy Taxi and Space Harrier 2 were ported to iOS and Android devices via Sega Forever. Finally, if you want a remaster of Commodore 64 title Hunter's Moon, you're in luck, as a Kickstarter was launched for just that last month. A digital copy will cost you £15, with a physical tape setting you back £40. More news on the Atari box came out last month, and it's bad news for fans of good news. It will be powered by an AMD customised processor with Radeon graphics technology, and will run Linux, so we'll look to offer a full PC experience for your TV. There will be some Atari games built in, but it's going to cost an eye-watering 250 to 300 US dollars. Before moving on to the next section, I'll also add that there's a great video by YouTuber Funky Spectrum detailing the whole sorry Sinclair ZX Spectrum Vega Plus affair. Check it out if you'd like to see how crowdfunding can go very badly wrong. To start this segment, several MSX titles were released last month as part of the MSX Dev 17 coding competition. They include X Spelunker, Draconic Throne, and Magical Tower Adventure. You can find all the entrants of the competition by following the link in this video's description. Go on, you know you want to. Then there were a trio of ZX Spectrum games, Robot 1 in the Planet of Death, Abu Sinva Propagation, and Moritz. In related 8-bit news, Tombstone's Retirement Day arrived on the Commodore 64, as well as Argus, which will set you back $5. Then there was Sheep It Up for the Game Boy, 4x4 Jam on the Sega Dreamcast, and finally two Vic-20 titles, Haunt and It Came From The Grave, just in time for Halloween. It's all Commodore Amiga stuff for this section this month. First, footage of Legacy and Duncan for the system were revealed online, and then playable builds of Desolate World and Marco were made available. Not a bad treasure trove of goodies at all if you're a fan of the home computer. Just two English fan translations this month. What a blessed relief. They are M36, A Life Planet for the MSX, and Dragon Quest and Final Fantasy in Fortune Street Special on the PlayStation 2. That's all for this month then, but thanks so much for watching. Please do subscribe to the channel, like this video if you can, and share it with anyone else you think may find it interesting. Bye for now.